You can't sit. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer. So we're going to talk about your past love returning. Your past love returns, eh? Is it happening? Do you want it to happen? Let's have a look. Are they gonna? Have they already? Cancer, past love returns. What does Cancer need to know? Bear in mind my love sees a general reader, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book a private reading if you go to my website, which there's a link below in the description box, and book me there. That's the only way, the only legit way of getting a read with me. I'm not going to come to you. Not ever. I'm never going to message you. Ever. You have to come to me first. Right. Cancer. You pass the little sentence. Let's have a look. Well, you wanted it. You wanted it to happen. You were hoping it would happen. There have been obstacles in the way of this. And there's obstacles in the future too. So the overall vibe is the six of wands and the cause of it is the chariot. You want this to happen. You want it to move forwards. What you need to know right now is three of wands. So it's kind of looks like it could happen. Tell me more about the three of wands. It's past love coming back. Again, what I say about the past, that's where it should stay. It belongs there, behind you, because you're moving forwards. The universe looks like it agrees with me here. Why are you uh, trying to tie yourself to something from the past? It didn't work out for a reason. You want closure? There's something between you and this person, an elephant in the room that one of you is hoping the other one kind of ignores. Can we not talk about that thing? Hopefully they've forgotten all about that thing. Tell me more. Massive elephant in the room. Uh, you guys created created uh, massive karma with each other. It, it is. This might be very specific to somebody here, but was there a? a who? You guys didn't. You didn't really talk about it. Was there a pregnancy? And you guys split up due to this pregnancy. You guys have made some heavy karma, karma between you both. It would be quite cool if you could sort it out now so you don't have to come back in another life and deal with it. Imagine having to come back to Earth, that would suck. It would be really cool if you could deal with the karma now. Maybe that is why it's coming back. Forgiveness. Letting go. They don't want to let go. So it's not you. 
they're kind of struggling to let go of it. I mean, it could be you. Let me know what resonates in the comments below, but it, it feels like it's them. This, this whole thing hurt them more than they could articulate to you at the time. They couldn't talk about it. You know that this, whatever is going on here, it's in the now. So if this person is coming back into your life, it's now and it, it's not in the future. So whatever happens between you now, if you guys have karma, you gotta sort it out. If there's anger, hostility between you. resentment it's good to deal with it so you don't have to come back it's always my my advice is if you can sort it out in this life oh if you could just be like you know what that was crap what you did but i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna come back and give it back to you next time around i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's fine you know what you did what you did i did what my i did in other lives we're done our calm is clear Let's go for it. It does seem like a little opening from the universe to go, let's clear it up now. This is not, you and them, this person are not going to be together in the future. There's too many, too many things in the way. What? Like what? Too many secrets. You've both kind of, in your own ways, even if you haven't really moved on from this situation, you've both moved on in other ways, you know, you, you've both You're not the same people, that's what I'm trying to say. When when you guys were together before, you're not the same people that you were then. So it just wouldn't work now. You're not... You... The attraction that could possibly be there before, it's, it doesn't exist anymore. Like, the things that you liked about them before, it was just like... I'm not really into that anymore. I'm a grown-up now. Why is the Seven of Swords here in reverse for best you can hope for? It sort of just feels like this is a, a chance for you to finally... Well, this is about breaking free and, and... It's like a chance for you to break free from the karma that you guys created in the first place. <laughs> to clear the... What's that word? The confusion. There's a lot of confusion around it. So it's... It's like offering each other an olive branch and saying, look, here's like, this is what happened for me. This is why I did what I did. I'm not the same person I was then. I'm sorry. And then hear their side of it say look just clear the air I just want to hear your side of it if they're not willing to offer it I don't see either of you wanting to uh, go back there's a there's a lot of not that hasn't been said. I feel it here. It's, it's a lot has not been said between you. And, and it's time to say it. 
So let's take a look at the outcome here, the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? You're moving out of a time that was difficult. You're, yeah. You guys are both moving out of a time that's been difficult and moving towards easier things, better things. You're setting up your boundaries and walking away from things you don't need anymore in your life. It, it looks like a positive reading. I think that this past love is coming back into your life to clear the karma and uh, make way for the next the next cycle of your life. Not together though. Definitely not together. Um, I'm going to take it into extended after this. I'm going to I'm going to ask how this person feels about you. How they see you, what are their intentions towards you, what do they want to say to you. I ask when this is going to happen if it hasn't happened already, but uh, also some guidance from the universe. But let's let's pull this. Look at the bigger picture. You don't really want this. Let's be honest. The answers you need are coming wicked. Looking at the bigger picture, you don't you don't want this. It's the past. It's just karma clearing, which is awesome. Go with that. Let's put your love lyric for the day. Play your hand, say the word, I want to know where I stand, but you're afraid of me now, don't believe what you see, you don't know me. And you don't know each other anymore. That's a song by me. I wrote it. It's called Afraid of Me Now. And it's the first song I ever wrote about my twin flame. Uh, all right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You will find the link for the video there. Bye.